briefly about uh, freesound.org. When you're looking for sounds and ambient stuff, uh, this is a great place to go. I'm going to do something that sounds a little scary. So, I go to freesound.org, I log in, and the username is tartanart, all one word, and the password is tartan. The nice thing about Freesound is you can search a number of different ways. I'm just going to type in scary. And there's all sorts of options here. Now I'm going to click on some of these options and just play them. Hopefully you can hear them through the microphone. That's definitely some spooky stuff. Um, so I'm going to, I like to get multiple sounds. So I'm going to click on all of these different sounds here. I click on the link here. That's going to bring me to a larger page where I can see the waveform on a larger scale. I like to download waves and MP3s. They usually work the best. I'm going to go over here to download and download the sound. Now that I've downloaded my audio files, I'm going to import them into Premiere here. So I go to File and Import or Control I on the keyboard. My files are on the desktop, so I'm going to grab those here and here. Now when I make audios, especially creepy audio, I want to have a couple of different sounds. So I also grabbed some kids singing. So I have creepy music and then I have some kids singing um, that I'm going to put faintly in the background and it should really turn out pretty scary. So I dragged those clips into audio track 2. Uh, one of them isn't quite long enough, so I just duplicate it and just kind of slide it to the end here and I'll slide this one back as well. Um, I want to make sure that they kind of fade out at the end and also fade in at the end. So I'm going to go to my audio transitions here. I'm going to use crossfade and I'm going to do constant power. And I'm just going to drag those to the end, both of those, and then put them on the beginning as well. So they fade in and they fade out. So right now it's going to be pretty loud. Okay. I want it to be quieter on both counts and do some modifying. Now Premiere has in it an audio mixer. We can go to Window go to Audio Mixer and select the coloring sequence. You can also find it in the middle window sometimes and it should say Audio Mixer. Okay, Audio 2, Audio 2. I'm gonna pan this to the left so it comes out a little bit more on the left side and I'm gonna bring it down to about negative 10 or so. Now the children singing, I'm gonna pan that to the right a little bit just to separate it out from the other sounds. And I'm going to bring that one down even quieter, maybe close to negative 18. And now, listen. All right, that sounds like a good mix. I'm pretty well creeped out. Um, and that's how you add sound and edit some sound inside of Premiere.